D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I have a Mr. Bishi mini split and I have a Procon Procon Melco BEMS I think they're trying to say BMS all right so this is if you want to take your mini split and put it on a uh, BMS system all right but before getting to the video I want you to subscribe if you hadn't subscribed smash that bell icon okay smash that bell icon so that when I upload videos like these you get them right away so here's the manual guys and particularly use your device so what this device does a regular mini split here is your thermostat as you all know and familiar with so it takes a regular mini split and enables it to be controlled by your BMS or building management system so this right here use RS-485 and this right here you plug into your main board CN105, CN92 okay this one right here again your BMS communication backnet that is those backnet and here is some um, configuration I think let me find it for you here we go there's your configurations so you can do one node per indoor unit or you could do one node for three i think you can do up to four indoor units with one node and you can control them as a group just like you can do with your thermostat one thermostat controls you know three or two whatever and um you can do the same thing with this device through your bms system heating cooling du mid um, temperature change on off scheduling same functions you have from your thermostat you can do from this device through your bms system all right thought i'd share with you guys thought i'd share it with you guys okay and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed subscribe i do upload videos on a weekly basis particularly on a sunday so what I'll be doing here today, um, I'll be setting the address for this unit, for this uh, node. So the address address ranges from one through thirty, and using five a series of five switches. So switches switches one through five. That's what you're going to use to set your address. And they are binary, so you know binaries. You gotta combine your numbers. So, if you want address number four, you will turn number switch uh, switch number three on, and everything else off with switch number three on. That's address number four. All right. If you want address number five. Then you will turn switch number three on, which is four. And then you turn switch number one on, which is one. So one plus four is five. And that's that. All right. Switch six. That's what it does right here. You see it? RS-485 communication setting. Broad rate. All right. So it's going to be a rather short video, guys. All right. So I guess you guys already know how to remove the front cover. You got a, a total of five screws. You got one, two, three, and there is four, and there is five, and then on top, there is three clips. One clip down here, one in the middle, and one in the opposite hand three clips 
Okay, so use your screw holes. One, two, three, four, five. And if you guys are, if you are pro, you should have known this already. If you're doing mini splits. And then again, this is, uh, the top here is one clip. Another clip in the middle. Another clip on the end. So again, this is just to take your mini split unit, put it on your building, building management system or BMS system. Building management or BMS system. That's what that does. That device does. So here we have a regular S1, S2, S3 that goes to your you know outdoor unit, power and communication. Um, this is the device. All right, and uh, you see this arrow right here. It shows you the position of the switch when it's on. So, like right now, this particular node, obviously, number one is on. So that's address number one. See the arrow pointing down. This down is on. Up is off. So everything else is off. Two, three, four, five is off. And I have one on. So this address number one. And you see where it plugs into the board. The red connector, CN105, that's the wire. It's gonna be either CN105 or CN92. So in this case, it's 105. This is your, your, the wire RS485 going back to your BMS system. And um, this is gonna be a shielded wire. Okay, pretty straightforward. All right. Yeah, so again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. You're also going to have to remove this cover right here, which I'm going to put back right now. If you want to watch and see. Again, if you're a pro, you should know this because this is stuff that you will be doing on a regular, or maybe not. As you get to your main control board, just slide it like in like that. One screw right here. If I could find it. Oh, these are my five screws from the cover, the front cover. This baby right here. I gotta find my. Oh, here it is. So pretty straightforward. If you got a question about this stuff, right, you can leave it in the comment section, and I'll answer it. All right. Boom, that's in back. And take this here. This you would normally open to set up your mini split. Back in there. And I got one screw right here. Again, this is, this is in a IT room, a data center, New York City. So that's what they're using this mini split for. And they want to get this on the building's BAS, BMS, building management, whatever you want to call it, system. And with this little device right here, it's possible. Okay. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell icon. I'm going to close this video off right now. I'm out.